While writing the conditions for constructive interference and destructive interference, we have mentioned optical part difference. For constructive interference, this optical part difference is integral multiple of lambda and for destructive interference, this optical part difference is odd integral multiple of lambda by 2. What is this optical path difference? Optical path difference means the difference in the optical path. So we need to understand what is optical path first and then we can calculate the optical path difference. So let us try to understand the meaning of optical path length. In order to understand the optical path length, let us consider the light ray traveling some distance in the medium having refractive index mu. Let us say the light ray travels distance d in the medium of refractive index mu in time t. So velocity of the light can be written in that medium as d upon t. So if the light wave is traveling distance d in time t in the medium having refractive index mu, then the velocity of light in that medium will be equal to d upon t. Let us call this equation as equation number 1. Now let us consider the light ray traveling in the air that is free space. In same time t, the light ray will travel longer distance because the velocity of light in air will be more than the velocity of light in denser medium. So let the distance traveled by the light in free space in same time t is d dash which is equal to c into t. Obviously d dash will be greater than d. c is velocity of light in free space. So we can write the velocity of light in free space to be equal to d dash upon t. Let us call this as equation number 2. Now from the definition of refractive index, it is defined as the ratio of velocity of light in the free space to the velocity of light in the medium. So that is called as the refractive index of the medium. So refractive index of the medium is written as C upon V. C is d dash upon t and v is d upon t. So t t will get cancelled and refractive index can be written as d dash upon d. And therefore we can write d dash to be equal to d into mu. d into mu. So what is the meaning of this? If d is the distance travelled by the light ray in denser medium means it is same as the light ray travelling distance d dash in the rarer medium that is in the free space. So in short we can say d dash is the equivalent path that would have been travelled by the light in free space. So d is called as path travelled by the light ray and d dash is called as the optical path of the light ray. So optical path means the equivalent path that would have been travelled by the light ray in the rarer medium that is in free space. So if the light ray is travelling distance d in denser medium, that means it is travelling distance d dash in the rarer medium or free space. So the equivalent path that would have been travelled by the light ray in free space is called as optical path length. In order to calculate the optical path difference, we will have to consider this equivalent path and then only we will calculate the path difference. That path difference will be called as the optical path difference. So here in this animation you can clearly see in the denser medium the path travelled by the light ray is less smaller than the path travelled by the light ray in the free space. So this is the optical path and this is path. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video then please subscribe to the channel so that you will get timely intimation of new videos uploaded to the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.